Recently, Glenn Beck has come to my attention and I've done some research and of course it is from the Wikipedia and while it, it may not necessarily uh, be the best source but it's out here and if he has a problem he could challenge him. And I'm going to read briefly what it says about him here. It says that he was born in Vermont, Washington and uh, his mother and one of his brothers committed suicide and a sibling had a fatal heart attack. He graduated from Sehom High School in Bellingham, Washington in 1982. Then it goes on to say that um, he joined the Church of the Latter-day Saints at the age of 18. Um, he moved to Washington from Washington to Salt Lake City, Utah and he had a, a Mormon missionary roommate who probably helped him to join the faith. But it goes on to say that he was, um, he was accepted at Yale University in a non-traditional um, program where he uh, had a recommendation from Joe Lieberman, so he got in and just did one theology class and he dropped out. Uh, he's a recovering alcoholic and drug addict and he's diagnosed with attention deficit hydroactivity disorder. Um, Beck cites the help of Alcoholic Anonymous in his sobriety and so on. And then goes on to his marriages that uh, collapsed. And as I read this here, especially his drug addiction and alcoholism, and, he, and it seems something just like Rush Limbaugh. And then uh, his attention deficit, he, he can't focus on nothing, probably that's why he couldn't make it at Yale University. Now, I don't understand why we in America are putting these nutballs up as our big um, significant others and as our political um, or intellectual uh, conceptual leaders. I think this brother should have had a, a job working in some you know, picking corn or tomatoes somewhere around the place. He has ambition, and it seems as if um, the folks that make the loud, outrageous noise normally gets up. And this is something just what uh, um, Kanye uh, West tried, but everybody's beating him up for that. But yet you have Rush Limbaugh and you have Glenn Beck who are doing the same thing but they're making millions and they have this radio show and everybody's tuning in to listen to them so I think that in America here with all these universities and this high standard of uh, achievement situation um, we shouldn't be putting up people who have these mental problems and who are kind of idiots as our opinion leaders we need people who will be fair I remember when I came to America, um, I listened to Rush Limbaugh a little bit, and I find he was on to Clinton's case. And I felt many of the issues, they were right on, and he was exposing things that probably people should know. But then when George Bush came on, and I see him talking George Bush up and, and, and glorifying him, then I, I start to you know look at this thing, I'm saying like, what's going on here? I mean, he was beating up Clinton just last week, and now this week here he's supporting his brother straight up um, Bush, and Bush is doing things that supposed to be, um, you know, pulled before the, the, the fire. And so Glenn Beck and these people, um, they're, they're, they're the glorious, insincere folks. If they don't like you, they're going to just be harping on things that they perceive as being problems and, and creating a whole um, career and a whole life out of it. I wish, though, that um, individuals in America would start coming up to our true level and rejecting dumb stuff. We're not going to be dragged into people with their witch hunts and their uh, mantras and their stupidness, especially if it has no basis in anything. And so, this Glenn Beck brother, um, he's creating a whole bunch of problems. And I would add that he's probably evil. Because Obama came on and he brought the country back from the brink of disaster. The economy and our world image and our so forth were very in bad shape. And he came on and he straightened up things. And instead of assisting the brother to take the country to the next level, they all seemed to want to destroy him. 
and they think that the way has been paved and everything looks great and, and tomorrow is going to be a sure thing so we can get rid of him and move on but I want to say that uh, Obama has been chosen by God and to, to rectify this uh, mess that these folks have put us in and he's the only one that could take it to the end to the fruition and if we you know beat him up and get rid of him I hope that how things were will return rapidly um, the world will start thumping the nose on us uh, the economy sliding, the world economy fall apart. And this is the end of all things. So I think Glenn Beck and Rush should be just be advised to just go away because they don't have no informed, educated opinion. It's just a bunch of uh, petty uh, nonsense that they're talking. And, and this is incompatible with America's status of being a superpower where you have all this education out there. People could learn and speak intelligently, but they just shouting them out about nothing it's time for them to stop this mad evil um ranting and raving that they're going and exciting unadvised people to create problems